the double pump and bow stall. Classic freestyle move and a great one to get started on if you're new to freestyle. So I'm going to give a quick explanation here first and then we'll get into a bit more detail later. Start off with a bit of forward speed, keeping your body in a neutral position as you take a big forward stroke. Lower your edge on the same side that you're taking that first stroke. Pull your legs up to get the bow out of the water. As the bow falls back down, drive it further underwater with a hefty back sweep stroke. Maintain pressure on the blade until you get vertical. Finish the move with both blades just under the surface of the water to cancel out the rotation and remain in the vertical position. Okay, that's it for the quick demonstration, we're going to move on to the more detailed breakdown now. It's always a good idea to start with a bit of forward momentum, so start with a few forward strokes to get going. This will help to kick up the stern when you do the double bump, similar to putting the front brake on when you're riding a bike. Lower one edge as you initiate the move. While holding that edge, take a hard forward stroke to pull the bow out of the water. Tense your core, hips and legs. Pull your bow up about 30 centimeters or one foot out of the water. Once the bow has reached its max height out of the water, allow it to fall back down. You can increase your edge towards the end of this to help ease the boat into the water. Just as the bow begins to fall, roll your wrists forward and rotate your upper body to prepare to push the back of your blade off the water. For a bow stall or a loop, I like to use more of a sweeping motion on the backstroke of the double pump. This ensures that you just gently reach the vertical position instead of flying into it at high speed. It also conserves directionality. You'll be in the bow stall position facing the same direction that you started in. Later on, this will become an important skill to master when you're going for linked moves where you have to keep moving in a straight line. For cartwheels, you're still sweeping that blade around, but you can keep it a little closer to your body so that it acts more like a lever to really kickstart that rotation that you'll need. Anyway, back to the bow stall. Sweep the paddle around your boat in a large arc to aid in stability. The maximum pressure on the back of the blade should occur just before the bow starts to go underwater. At this stage, you're trying to push a bow filled with air underwater, so you're fighting the buoyancy of your own boat. As the kayak reaches near verticality, ease off the pressure on the blade to prevent over-rotating. Your own body weight will now help to push against the buoyancy of your boat to keep you upright. Once you reach the vertical position in your kayak, catch yourself with the other blade. This helps to kill the rotation and make any other adjustments to help you balance. Now for the hard part, you have to learn to hold your balance. I think a lot of people underestimate how difficult this is, so don't be too hard on yourself if you're struggling with it. Over time, you'll get a feel for what movements of the paddle correspond to what adjustments you want to make to hold the position. Here's a quick overview to get you started. Pushing down on both blades will move you up. Pulling with both blades back up will draw you deeper into the water. If you're using an angled or feathered paddle, you'll also experience some screwing motion as you push or pull the paddle up and down. Pushing or pulling on one blade only can be used to counteract tilt to one side. So if you feel like you're going to fall on the left side, you could push on the left blade or pull on the right blade. Leaning or crunching forward will flatten the boat down and leaning back or standing up will make you go more vertical. In reality, there's no time to consciously think about which direction you're tilting, leaning or twisting. You just need to practice it until you get to the stage where it becomes second nature. A little tip here actually, practicing your offside roll can be a great complementary exercise to the bow stall. So if you're going for a right double pump, you'll often be in a setup position for a left roll if you fall over. Try to train yourself to go for that left roll before or instead of switching to your preferred side. Also, I wouldn't get hung up on focusing too much on the bow stall. Try other moves like back deck rolls, cartwheels and stern squirts to keep it interesting. So go out there and give it a go, have fun with it and start to enjoy falling on your face. Bring a paddle buddy or two if you can, I know this definitely helped me stick with it in the early days. Trust that your brain is working on it in the background, trying to figure out this strange new sequence of muscle movements. Eventually something will click and you'll get your first bow stall. As you get more comfortable with it, you'll start to be able to unlock more and more freestyle moves to continue your progression. It all starts with a humble double pump.
best of luck guys and see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>